Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to try something different and I wanted to try five weird photography items. Essentially, I just had my friend go online. I didn't specify which sites. I didn't say anything. I said, here's like 50 bucks. Go out and get some weird different stuff that I kind of want to react to. So if you like what this is, if you kind of like, you know, this going forward and I could spend a little bit more money if you guys watch this, just leave a like. Let me know down below if you want to see more of this stuff. But I had my friend John just go online, grab some random stuff. I, I have no idea what it is. So let's, let's just dive into it. So the first item is this. Is that a pencil sharpener? This is a pencil sharpener. What is this like made out of? Is this like brass or something like that? Where the hell did you find this? But yeah, this is a pencil sharpener. As you can see, you put the pencil at the bottom right here. There's the, uh, the sharpener, the razors are in there. I don't know why you got this. There's no such thing as pencils anymore. It's 2018, but but there we go. How much did you spend on this? This was this was this was five dollars on eBay apparently, and there's a there's a different set of them as well. But I don't know. That's kind of a cool thing that I could just put like somewhere on a shelf or something like that. So, okay, cool. All right, five bucks, not too bad. Let's keep going. What are these? These are, oh, these are, uh, oh, I've seen these before. These are on like Photo Jojo. They're like lens caps. Um, none of this is a sponsor, by the way. I just had my friend pick random items. But they're just lens caps you throw on your camera. I'll even throw one on. And they have like different like food stuff on them. So this is a 77 millimeter. Oh, it comes with a little cord thing too. But this one's a donut. A little donut is a, another little cord. <laughs> it's, it's a hamburger. That's kind of funny. That stuff's kind of cool. Like, but, but like, why, why do you need stuff like this? I mean, I guess it's like, like showing personality and stuff like that. But uh, actually, I mean, it's really well made. I don't know if there are like stickers or something on there. That's like really on there. But uh, let me throw this on a lens. So I got my lens right here with the typical Canon lens cap. I'll take that off. This isn't the right size though, but that's that's okay. You didn't get the right size. Yeah, I mean, actually this would be pretty practical because you could figure out what lens is easier. Like you're like, oh, my 24 to 70 is a hamburger or my 16 to 35 is the donut. So uh, even though it's, it's kind of quirky, kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I don't know. These were like what? These were five bucks a piece on sale. So 10 bucks for both of these. Some, definitely something different, but I think these do have a practical use by helping identify what lens is in your bag. This is a nondescript Amazon envelope. Okay, let's just, there's the smile. Do I want it to frown? Let's just tear this open. Oh, there it's got some tape in there. All right, let's just go nuts. Oh, these are one of these, um, uh, levels that you put on top of your camera. I, why? Why? Why did you get this one? Do you really need something this obnoxious on your camera? Why are people buying this? So here it is right here. You'll hopefully kind of see this is a cold shoe right here. Uh, that way you can just slide it on your camera. I'll show you in a second. But you know what though? This could have a practical use, especially if you're in a like landscapes or something where you can't see the level on your tripod, which should already be done beforehand. Got my Fuji X-Pro2 here. And let's just throw that on. There's no lock or anything, so it just slides on. Oh no, that is such a tight fit. That's not good. This thing is this thing is garbage, but essentially it's supposed to look like this. So that way when you have it on a tripod, you're able to, you know, level it. So practical, yes, but this one is kind of junky. This was like a waste of like eight bucks, I think you said. So that's, it's just stock. Yes. This is a photo Rito. I have no idea what this is. It's in this like nondescript brown packaging. Oh, it's got such a weird feel to this thing. Oh, it's even got a smell to it. What the hell is it? It looks like a burrito. All right, it's got like a hard thing here. You unroll it. Wow, oh, it's like a slap bracelet in the middle. What the hell is this? Oh my God, I think I know what this is. I don't know why a lot of people would use this stuff, but this is something that you would use to protect your lenses, like putting it away in a bag. Uh, or if you're traveling for it, this is actually kind of funny. So on the inside, it's like a like a very soft material, very durable. And on the outside, it's like it does feel like like plasticky, but it's got it, it looks like a burrito. It, it's absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna grab my lens and and, and put it in. When I get going, I'm just gonna put my lens in the middle, put that up top. Let's wrap it around like I'm working at like Chipotle. This is like the the flex material right here, and then you just put it in the middle. Put the one, this is actually very funny. I hope you didn't pay a lot of money for this one. 
and then you wrap it around and then that's really your seal. So you know, you're good to go and then you could just tuck it in like a little burrito, fold it over. How much How much was this? $20. This thing was $20. You actually paid $20 for this thing. So here's one of the other items. This is a lens. I know exactly what this is already. This is one of the things where it's got like the, the thermos inside of it and that way you can put drinks and stuff in it. Um, it's a little dirty, it's kind of weird. But these are one of those lens mugs. This is a, 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 a Canim 24 to 105 F4 lens. And what you do is you normally just unscrew the top. No, it's not that bad inside. There's your little your little view here. It's actually in there rather well, so this one isn't that cheap, made that cheap. These things usually are like 10 to $20, all depending on which ones you get. Um, so I think, what did you pay for this one? 10 bucks, so $10 for this. And these are cool to like have as like a prop on a desk or something like that, nothing too crazy. But yeah, these, these are always awesome to hang around. Durability sounds good. It's not shaking around. I'd be interested to see if this does spill, but like the lid's not coming off. So this one's made rather well. So if you want to add a new lens mug to your bag, check out the Canim 24 to 105. Some of the stuff was interesting, but I'm, you know, I'm on a budget. I fund a lot of this stuff myself with the channel and everything. But if you guys want to see something more crazy, I'll have my friend who is not a photographer at all. I don't know if I said that. He's not a photographer. Uh, just go online, find random photography things. I mean, uh, brass sharpeners, this lens burrito thing, the lens caps and everything are really, uh, they're interesting. So if you, I, I would like to increase the budget to see if you can get something a little bit more crazy, like maybe spend a hundred dollars or something like that. But I really only do that if you guys watch. If you just think it's cool uh, and give it a thumbs up and everything, I'll be able to gauge. If not, this is just a fun video to do. But there's like five random things. Um, that he bought, and some of them were kind of cool.